Hello, welcome to part three of my video series for uh, the Cobra Deviant Mobile Mech Suit. Again, I normally call my videos videos and not reviews because I'm trying to interact uh, more with people than I'm not able to uh, interact with uh, because uh, we obviously don't live in the same state or even sometimes even the same country. So. Um, that's why these videos are so long and this is why this is a video number three and um, I'll try and make the G.I. Joe one not as long uh, since most of you may have already seen this information but I also wanted to point out that with all the different uh, versions of mech suits that G.I. Joe has had and again I don't have the Sigma 6 ones you can even, because they use the same ports, these mechs from, uh, which I have videos for, they're not that great. Not saying these ones are that great either, but if you want to go check those videos out, which I know a few of you have, so thank you for doing that, is that I'm trying to take all these off, but I haven't done it so in a while, so they're on there very tight. But you can take off all of these uh, arms off of the mech suits that we were talking about. Uh, except for these ones, because these are uh, dated. They um, obviously have made improvements to uh, the mech suits, if you're a fan of the mech suits. Which I um, noticed uh, one of my comments that I got from somebody was... Uh, they like the mech suits because uh, they're mainly a transformer collector and uh, can basically see uh, the G.I. Joes needing you know, these suits in order to go up against the transformers and that's definitely a great idea and I appreciate the person sharing that. So for this part you can basically put these in like that if you want. And then there's that one there. And what's nice about that is these ones don't have any electronics. But the 2000 ones from 2004 do. So like the Cobra one is right here. So you can do that if you want some sound effects on your vehicles or mech suits here. And then there's this one. If I can remember how to do it. So there's that. The other thing that's nice too is if you have at least the two that I have here, um, Cobra stays basically this time with some gray and some purples and they did the same thing with this one even though this is more of an orange or whatever but it's a purplish gray look to me so that doesn't stick out too much and then the same thing with the G.I. Joe one they stuck with you know the army green which again goes good with these and I think that's pretty much everything I have for right now for uh, my Cobra Deviant Mobile Mech Suit video series and um, basically everything else that you can go and seek out if you are wanting to um, if you're wanting to add some new um, playability or armaments to your uh, Cobra uh, forces or G.I. Joe forces the other thing I don't think I mentioned at the beginning of this video series is that uh, it's nice in this packaging that they show the armament is um, able to be released uh, from the main body. Alright, thank you for watching my uh, video series on the Cobra Deviant Mobile Nexit. Alright, bye.